Caroline Flack's former manager has called Prince Harry gross for writing about his romance with the late television star in his memoirs. Alex Mullen, creative director at APM Media, which used to represent Caroline before her death by suicide in February 2020, wrote a lengthy post on his Instagram account criticizing the royal for recounting details of the tainted affair in spare, which is officially published on Tuesday in the UK. He wrote, gross for Prince Harry to reveal such private details about Caroline Flack. The way the press spoke about her at that time and the reason they split are both very sad and it's gross is using her name to help sell his book. An incandescent Mullen added, the royal family need to strip him of all titles now. Caroline and Prince Harry had dated briefly in 2009, and Harry recounts in his forthcoming memoir Spare how he enjoyed a string of dates with the high-profile television star, but says the couple decided to call it a day after the press hounded her and her family. Harry says in the book that he didn't know who Caroline was when they were first introduced, but described her as funny, sweet, and cool. He writes, very soon after they papped me and flack, those photos set off a frenzy. Within hours a mob was camped outside Flack's parents' house, and all her friends' houses, and her grandparents' house. She was described in one paper as my bit of rough, because she once worked in a factory or something. Jesus, I thought, are we really such a country of insufferable snobs? The late Love Island presenter had described her affair with the then 25, year, old royal in her 2014 memoir called Storm in a Sea Cup. Caroline, who took her own life at the age of 40 in the run-up to a trial for the alleged assault of her boyfriend Louis Burton, said the romance had been sparked after they spent an evening chatting and laughing with one another. Her friend, Natalie Pinkham, set the pair up after she had previously dated the royal herself. In her memoir, Flack wrote, I knew, Natalie Pinkham, was friends with Prince Harry, and I'd never met him, so I thought, oh that's quite exciting, and for a moment I perked up. So I was just sitting there and he arrived with a few others in tow and we all spend the evening chatting and laughing. However, the intense scrutiny from the media forced the pair to stop dating. Caroline wrote, once the story got out, that was it. We had to stop seeing each other. In a lengthier Instagram post about Caroline, her long, time agent slammed Harry for bringing up old long-forgotten slurs she had to suffer in full view of the public around the world. Mullen wrote, of course Caroline reacted to them with humor and grace, but privately she was deeply hurt, just the first of many injustices she didn't deserve. Harry's decision to remind all of the terrible things said about her to help sell his appalling book is grotesque. Moreover, and perhaps worst of all, he writes as if he has any idea why Carrie took her own life, parroting media reports as if they're reality, blaming the press because that's what he read about it. He knows nothing. Perhaps he should be considering how he and Meghan Markle might have caused Queen Elizabeth II pain just as she lost her husband, of 70 years and while she was on the path to her final goodbye. The royal family need to strip him of all titles immediately.